everybody. I wasn't even going to do a periscope, but I decided to stop because it's so goddamn beautiful. Check this out. Westminster Abbey. Welcome, 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 everybody. Westminster Abbey. The west facing end of Westminster Abbey. St. Margaret's Church. Big Ben, the clock tower and Elizabeth Tower in the background. The clock in Elizabeth Tower in the background. Check it out. Operation JLT, thanks for sharing this. Red Lunar Pigs, thanks for sharing it. Now that is Westminster Abbey. It was built. Well, there's allegedly been a, a church there since about the 7th century. Uh, thanks for sharing Beaver Brooks. Thanks for sharing Pablo del Mar. Really appreciate this, guys. Uh, there's been a church here since the 7th century, maybe 1300 years, but. Uh, 1400 years, but th this one that you're looking at now, well, this bit's actually built in the 18th century. It's very recent, the 18th century, but look how goddamn beautiful it is. I love it. Uh, most of the present church dates from kind of 1250s. Behind there, most of it dates from the 1250s. Most of the first abbey built by. Everyone hating. Uh, I'm just on my bicycle, check this out. About to go for a beer with my buddy Tom Holland. Holland underscore Tom. Check it. Uh, check him out on Twitter. Thanks for sharing, uh, ex Coronella. Anyway, so this one's Henry the Third started building this one in the 1250s, 1240s. But originally it was it dates from certainly 950 years ago when Edward the Confessor wanted to build an amazing church just west of the city of London, a place called Westminster, and that's what this became. In there are buried many of the kings and queens, um, many of the kings and queens of England, the Plantagenets are all in there, lots of the Tudors are in there, some of the Stuarts are in there, actually most of the Stuarts are in there. It is beautiful guys, I just, I just, I wasn't even going to do a periscope this afternoon but I had to show you this because it's so awesome, it's so beautiful. But also in there guys, also in there are some of the big hitters of British history, Darwin, Newton, Chaucer, sure, we're talking the, the big players, with the big players. So this is, like, this is the this is the national church, and it is where William and Kate got married. It is where the king, the next king, Charles, will be crowned when he becomes Charles III. It's awesome. But let's check out this little church here. That's St Margaret's Church. That's 18th century. That one. I like this church. It's very cool. Um, People like Milton are in there, lots of 17th century notables in there. My, one of my favourite admirals, Robert Blake, was in there, but he was, buried, he was dug up and dismembered by Charles II. It's a long story. It's a long story. Uh, am, am I a pub? Am I an ale man? You know, as I get older, I'm drinking more ale, I've got to say. I used to be a large man. But there's Big Ben. That's the clock in the clock tower. The clock tower is called the Elizabeth Tower. It looks old, but it's not actually that old. It's only from the 1850s or so. Thanks for sharing, guys. Appreciate it. But listen, I'm going to get going. Um, what I might do is, it's so beautiful, I might stop at a few other places in London tonight. On my way to the pub. Tom Holland, if you're watching this, I'm on the way. Don't worry. So on my way to the pub, look, I'm bicycling now. Let's check it out. But on my way to the pub, I may stop because it's so beautiful. I want to share London with you guys. I'll leave you. Now you can see the part of the church from the 13th century. That's Western Church from the 13th century. Okay, anyway, I'm heading out on the road. See you later, guys. Bye bye.